going to go into lecture we are going to go into detail in work with compute when we run a script as a machine learning experiment we need to define the execution context for the experiment to run the execution context is made up of two very important things the python environment for the script which must include all python packages used in the script as well as the compute target on which the script will run so for this lecture we have already created the workspace and uh, let the workspace come up portal azure.com so we have already created the workspace and we can connect to the workspace we have already downloaded the json file so the machine learning workspace is here wsag we have downloaded the config.json file and from here we will connect to the workspace so let's connect to the workspace here so it is connected to the workspace and now we prepare the data for an experiment now to prepare the data for the experiment what we have done is that we have the diabetes.csv file here and we would upload the data into the workspace and we are using a tabular data set so here what we are doing is that we are getting the default data store and in the default data store we are uploading the files first and then we are creating a tabular data set and then we are registering this so let us run this thing we have already done it before so we have got data set already registered so what is it is that if you go to this studio you have the data sets which is here so data set is already registered and where it is it is pointing to the uh, to to our data store which is out here so if you go to this account name so this is the data which is here so now we create the training script the training script we are creating a folder in this first cell and next what what we would do is that we would create the diabetes.training.py it is the same as we had done before it is using the training data set and um, it is having two hyperparameters here that is uh, one hyperparameter that is a regularization and the other is a parameter which is a input data so we will explain it once again for the sake of completeness so here we are using the regularization parameter we are loading the data the diabetes data which is the tabular data set and it is a training data and we are converting it into a pandas data frame we are separating the features and the labels so you can see the features here the features is these which i am highlighting and the other is the labels we split the data into the training set and the test set using train test split we are training a logistic regression model and here we are using the hyperparameter that is the regularization hyperparameter then we calculate the accuracy by predicting on the test set and then we are logging the accuracy also we are also calculating the auc as well as uh, logging it we are plotting the ruc uh, curve and we are also logging it by the log image and after that is done we are also saving the model in the form of a pickle file so this is a training script let's run it and then what we do is that we define an environment so this environment is the in experiment env.yml so this includes the python scikit-learn ipy kernel backplotlib pandas pip azure ml defaults and pyarrow so this is the ex experiment env.yml 
YML. Next part, what we are doing is that we are creating the environment through this with the help of this YML file. The next section is the most important section which is similar to the previous lectures. Here we are getting the training set from the diabetes data set. We have the data set registered as we have seen. So, uh, the data set is registered out here. We are using this data set. And we are using the script that is the diabetes training.py. The arguments which is the input data which is which is being passed as the training data here and the regularization hyperparameter is passed. The environment is also passed and the runtime configuration here is the difference from the other lectures that we have seen. Here we are using a docker configuration. Since the compute target is the local machine, that is my machine, I need to keep the docker running for this. So I have the docker running with me. So that is why it is, it is, it is okay for me to use. So what it will do is that it will create an image and it will use a docker configuration. So this might take some time because uh, it will check whether the docker file is created or not. So since I had already created this image, I had run this before, the image is already there. So for you, if you are doing it for the first time, it will take time to create the image. So for me, the image is already created here. Okay, so that is why it is not a problem for me and it does not take much time. So it is running quite fast and the run is completed as you can see. So let's run the matrix. So we are getting the matrix here. So we can go back to the machine learning workspace and we can see the run details. So this is the run details and you can see the ROC, uh, AUC and the accuracy already there. You can see the matrix also here which is being displayed and because we have also uh, logged the image you can see the ROC curve as an image. So this please note that we have used the local compute for this. If you are running for the first time please note that since you will be building the image this, this statement this cell will take a bit of time. Okay. So this is done, then what we do is that we register the environment. So what it does is that we are now having the environment in our workspace. So the environment is, is registered in my workspace and you can see the dependencies out here. Okay. So after that, what we do here is that we repeat the same experiment, but now what we will do is that we can reuse the environment that we have created. So this is a different run here. The only difference from the script that we had seen earlier is that it has only one argument, that is the input data. We are hard coding the regular uh, we are not using the regularization parameter and we are using a decision tree classifier here. Here also the same concept. Uh, we are calculating the accuracy. After predicting it, we are also calculating the AUC. We are plotting the ROC curve. And each of the cases, we are also logging it. So it is the same and we are also saving the model.pickel. So once let's just you overwrite this and now we run it again. Now this is the second run. This might say take some time. Let, it, uh, let us see whether it is taking some time or not. So while it is going on, let me explain the next line. That is the matrix. So it is the same. You will get the matrix using the run.get matrix here. And uh, so 
let it run and see whether it takes some time. So it's run already. So we can go back and see the second run, which is the run details. You see it is also completed here. So this is a sixth run that we are doing. Okay. And the compute target is local. So we can get the metrics. Now we can, uh, in addition to registering our own environments, we can leverage the pre-built curated environments for common experiment types. So let's print the uh, environments. So these are the different different environments that is available. So we can use it in our experiments. You see all curated environments and uh, names begin with Azure ML. You can't use this prefix for our own environments. So these are the things. Now what we will do in the next phase is that we will create a compute cluster which is not in our local machine. Till this point, we had created uh, and trained the models in our local machine. Now what we will do is that we will create a compute cluster in a different space. So uh, we have named the cluster as AG cluster. Uh, before running this cell, I have already created the cluster. So for me, it will not take much time, but if you are creating the cluster on your own, then then it would create some some time. Here, what if you have not created the cluster? What it will do? It will create a VM standard DS11 V2 uh, virtual machine, and it would create on your own. So this is the one which is created. So it has found an existing cluster, and we are going to use it. The next one is that we are using the script run config and here we are using the same thing. It is using the registered environment, it is using the cluster, it is using the diabetes training.py. Let's run it. Since we have created the cluster, uh, it, it might not take a lot of time, but let's see. If it takes a lot of time, I will stop the video and come back. So it is still queuing and it is, so let's go back and see what it is doing. So if I go back to the experiments, so the latest run is seven, it is queued, it is taking some time. So let's come back after and it is resizing now and it will take some time to do it. So let's come back when it is done because uh, we would be waiting for it to be done. So thank you. So the experiment has com been completed. We can see it here. It is, let's refresh it. It is completed and uh, yes. So we can see the metrics ROC, AUC and the accuracy. Now what we will do is that we will see what is the node count. It has uh, run already and now we can get the metrics. So the metrics are there and we can also register the model. It is the same code, nothing has been changed. So it's all done. So what we have done in this lecture? We have explained of how we can create our own environment. We can, we used a Docker. Uh, that is the difference that was from the previous lecture in our local compute. We have created an environment and we have registered the environment in the workspace. We have used the environment that was in the workspace. And next what we have done is that we have used the environment in a compute target, which is not our local machine, but a new local machine, a new machine in Azure, a new uh, target in Azure. And we have chosen the SQ for it. And we have 
run the machine learning code there. So that's it for this lecture. Hope you liked it. Bye.